What's up guys? Today we're talking about my helmet, the showy glamster. Let's get into it. So I bought the helmet in uh, 2020, in early 2020, because I was looking for a vintage style helmet to go with my XSR back here. And it was a pretty new helmet from Shoei, and I read a few reviews that said it was promising, so I went for it. What I liked about it uh, before I bought it was that it came in different sizes. Mine is an M and depending on the size of the helmet, it actually changes the, the size of the shell. So that means uh, you always have a shell that fits your head. You don't end up with a bowling astronaut type of, uh, type of helmet on your head. Uh, so that was a thing I really liked. So for the price, um, it's a showy, so it's going to be expensive, but the quality should be here. I bought it for 360 euros, but I think it was on sale. So it should be around 400 to 450, depending on where you want to buy it. As you see, I picked mine up in black. Uh, there are a few colors. So the basic colors, so black, white, and gray, which is a kind of a nardo gray, uh, if you know about this paint. And then there are other decals with stripes and vintage looking kind of things, which I was not really a fan of, uh, unfortunately. So I just ended up, ended up picking up the black one. Another cool thing is that it actually came with a pin lock inside the box so i don't have that on mine right now but i have it on my clean visor my clear visor sorry which is absolutely not clean by the way <laughs> it works really well uh, i use it for winter obviously the thing is uh, i have glasses and the glasses always end up fogging uh, in the end so the pin lock is kind of kind of useless to me but it works well I've seen some reviews of people complaining about seeing their reflections with the pin lock uh, on this helmet. I have not had that problem at all, so good point for me. I wear glasses, as you can see. Uh, they fit correctly with uh, this helmet. The only thing is that the helmet is not designed for glasses, so you don't really have a spot inside the helmet uh, for your glasses specifically. Uh, I had one on my Shoei GT Air um, touring helmet, which was really nice. They do fit uh, pretty easily though, so that's not a big complaint for me. As far as weight for the helmet, it's actually pretty light. I'll put the exact weight here, but yes, it's not a carbon helmet, but it's pretty light. I have nothing to complain about. Certainly lighter than, uh, let's say, my GT Air I had previously. For wind noise, uh, it's actually pretty okay. It's certainly better than the Bell Bullet. Uh, it's direct competitor, which was kind of an icon inside the vintage helmet world. World, sorry. It's of course not as good as a touring helmet, but it's not meant to be. Uh, I don't have complaints, honestly, about the wind. While we're talking about wind, let's talk about airflow inside the helmet so uh, the helmet doesn't actually have a whole lot of intakes for airflow and for cooling your head there's actually four here one two one two intakes uh, but they are not really meant to cool your head they're just meant to flow inside the helmet and you don't actually feel them is what i mean if I close the helmet, you can see we also have here a latch that opens and closes. 
and that allows wind to come inside the helmet. Uh, honestly, I don't feel the wind coming in and I've read reviews of people having the same problem. So, yeah, maybe it's just because I have hair and uh, hair prevents the wind from actually cooling my head. If, maybe if I was bald, it would be better. I don't know. I don't really want to shave my head for uh, this test, so sorry about that. One problem with this latch also is that it's pretty difficult to find and to open if you wear a glove, if you wear gloves. So for wind, it also has here like a chin, chin guard. I don't know how you want to call it, uh, to protect you from the wind. Uh, I actually don't really use it for that. I use it to tuck my beard in because otherwise it pops out of the helmet. So probably not how it's meant to be used, but it works for me. I will quickly show you the fit to see how it looks. So here is how it looks. Also here you can see the little wind protection and I actually use it to tuck my beard in. So that's pretty nice. I like it. One thing I really liked about this helmet is with uh, the shell size uh, fitting the actual size you pick that makes the helmet really tight around your head and you feel snug into the helmet and it's actually really comfortable it might not sound like it but it's really comfortable So now let's talk about the downsides of this helmet. One downside I have with uh, the helmet is that it only offers three positions. So for the visor, I mean. So you have it open like that, closed like that, and a bit of an opening uh, on the bottom and locked like that. Uh, so you don't have actually a, an opening like that, for example. Wait, that's also a problem. It's tough to open. You don't have an opening like that where you let a bit more in, air in and maybe you want your eyes to be protected. So yeah, it's just open, almost closed and closed. The locking mechanism also is kind of hard. Uh, you almost feel like you're breaking it every time, which is strange. You get used to it, but it's, it's still strange in my opinion. Another thing I don't like and that I discovered after changing my visor is that the tiny screws here are actually pretty fragile. Uh, I damaged mine. You can actually see here that it's pretty much damaged. Um, and I didn't put any huge strength on it. I just used a, a normal screwdriver. Uh, my guess is that maybe the screwdriver was a little bit small for uh, the actual size of the bolt, uh, but it doesn't really look, it didn't really look like it. So it's kind of disappointing the, the quality of these uh, actual bolts. Other than that, it's really a great helmet. I'm happy with it. And honestly, I would recommend it. Uh, it's maybe a little bit expensive at 400 euros, but if you can get it at 350, uh, I think it's a good deal, honestly. It's showy, you won't be disappointed. It works well and it really goes well with the XSR. I'll put a few pictures on the screen of the helmets and the bike and you can see how it looks.
other than that uh, ho I hope you liked the video uh, it's getting really cold here so I'm going to move uh, if you like the video please uh, leave a like and if you want more videos on my XSR and on some other projects maybe consider subscribing uh, it's free you can always unsubs unsubscribe later if you don't like if you don't like my French accent or whatever uh, you can always unsubscribe so please do that if you liked it I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.